Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of The Hot Seat, a wireless design and development interview series where we talk about the latest wireless technologies, components, and design issues for the wireless design engineering community. Today we are speaking with Michael Unitic, president of Chicago-based TIP Solutions. Michael became involved with TIP first as an investor, then as a board member. In April 2012, he was named president and has a primary focus on TIP business strategy and U.S. operations. Michael has a background that includes successful entrepreneurial ventures, experience in software design and marketing, and extensive experience in angel investing. He will be discussing TIP's newly updated Android app, CallSnap, which allows call recipients to respond to an incoming call with a photo, image, or new instant voice message feature. I just wanted to know what was happening in the mobile industry that created the need for call snap what created the need for call snap was everybody went mobile so everybody went mobile they're receiving calls that seem to always be at the wrong time tools were needed to help people manage these calls and deal with these situations why do you think it's so important for people to receive some sort of feedback from the people they're calling because I remember when I was younger cell phones weren't really popular I mean they were but they were the big clunky ones, and if someone missed your phone call, then you just had to wait for them to call you back. Right, which wasn't very convenient. So um, we believe that whenever you decline a phone call, you've sort of created a little communication problem um, for your caller, or between you and your caller. Um, for instance, nowadays when I miss a call, um, the person calling me is in this sort of dilemma. Do I call them back? Do I text them? Do I call their landline? Should I call somebody else? But one thing that's even, I'd say, changed that now there's a little bit of burden on the call recipient. So sometimes they feel the pressure to answer a call and say, hey, it's a really bad time. I'm going to have to call you back. Um, because if I don't do that, then I'm stuck in a situation where maybe I have to text them back or um, you know, respond in some other way so that I don't miss that call or so they don't call somebody else. Um, so sort of both sides are playing a role these days. So we're trying to sort of solve that problem with one you know, simple solution. So what makes CallSnap unique from similar apps available on the market? I'd say what makes CallSnap unique is that there are no other apps on the market that, um, that sort of provide this solution. So the closest thing we know of is the operating systems nowadays, the phones come uh, built in with the ability to respond with a text message. Okay? So the text message is canned, um, it's not personal, in fact they're sometimes a little cheesy. Um, so what we do with CallSnap is it allows you to take a picture of your situation so it's more personal and um, it's just a richer way to communicate. So we think it provides a little bit of insight not only into your life but maybe even also on when I might call you back. So if I'm on the other line and I take a picture of my landline it's, it could imply I might call you back in five minutes. Um, if I send a photo that I'm at a sporting event it's going to imply that it, it will still be hours um, until I call you back. Plus. You know, our target market is a little bit of younger people, and younger people are much more able and willing to sort of share their social situation. So it's more fun for them also. You know, maybe they even want to brag a little bit that they're at the game, or they're there at a concert, or something like that. So it's just a more fun way to communicate, we think, also. Can you tell me what the significance of Shaqu Shaquille O'Neal is? Why is he so interested in helping promote this with TIP Solutions? Shaquille is, he's kind of always thought of himself as a tech visionary. Um, he was a pre-IPO investor in Google. He was the first person verified on Twitter. So Shaq has an eye and he has an interest in spotting um, new, good, sort of disruptive technology. So we had the opportunity um, through one of our other investors to, to get in front of Shaquille and he sort of saw this and he sort of, he understands the use cases that we're trying to solve and he said, I want this, I'm in. What else can our viewers expect to see from TIP Solutions this year? So CallSnap's not only going to respond to a phone call, but we're also going to let you post your social status. So again, if I'm at a baseball game or something, I can not only send that cool image back to my caller, but I can post it as my social status. So it's becoming a little bit more of a status app, you know, kind of in our roadmap along the way. Um, separately from that, TIP Solutions also um, has created some embedded phone features. Um, which means we have to work with manufacturers to get these features embedded into a phone. Simple example is um, we, we've added a hold button to an incoming call. So now when you receive a call and it's not a good time, maybe you're in a meeting, noisy place, but you really want to take that call, the hold button allows you the opportunity to put that call on hold, get out of your situation, you know, whether it's get to a quiet place, leave the meeting, whatever, 
and then hit the release button and say, hey, thanks for holding. Um, so we call that our smart calls platform and our first customer is a company named Spice Mobiles out of India. Um, so, and then sort of our third call management tool, sort of third company vertical, is we're working on rolling out a downloadable service called CallCheck. What CallCheck does is, um, we believe that people don't realize it, but they miss a lot of phone calls to their phone. They don't realize it, but their phone sometimes blips on and off the network, or if they take their phone off the network, maybe they're in an airplane, they miss calls where if the person calling doesn't leave a voicemail, they have no record that that person called. So we can capture that missed call, and when the person's phone gets back on the network, we can send them a message um, that, that shows who called. So maybe that one's more of a, a business feature. You know, our tagline for it is never miss a call. Sort of the, the idea being that we believe that being aware of your missed calls when you're off the network is equally important to being aware of your missed calls when you're on the network. To circle back to the comment that you made about updating their social status, so does that mean that um, you guys are going to have a platform that incorporates with like Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter? Exactly. So on the on the Call Snap app, you, you have the opportunity to take a photo and then send it to your caller. So in addition to send, we're going to have social media buttons, so you can also tap a Facebook icon, you can tap a Twitter icon, and you can display that status. Maybe it's I'm taking a picture of of uh, the front of the movie theater and posting that because I want people to know that hey I'm actually out of I'm out of commission for the next couple hours don't call me so it's really more than just posting your status it's it's um, for providing more information and and maybe people start to go more to your Facebook feed to see what your status is you know we're kind of sort of trying to create a little bit of a movement um, of, uh, of you know, that benefit. Well, those were all my questions for today, Michael. Is there anything else that you think is important for our viewers to know about CallSnap or any of the other innovations that you're making for call management? Um, no, I, I think that um, you know we're doing a lot of things that people haven't done before. So anytime you're trying to go sort of from zero to one, um, you need to build market acceptance and awareness. So we think that you know we're sort of retraining behavior. You know. We're trying to make the decline button the last resort. Well, can you at least tell our viewers of when, what the time frame is that they can expect this app to be on the market and then how they can get a hold of someone if they have any questions about it? Yes, so um, CallSnap has, has been on the market since 2013 and um, the socialized aspect we're adding, um, we hope to be finished by the South by Southwest show the second week of March, so we hope to be talking about that there. And um, our downloadable app, Call Check, um, we hope to be launching that sort of soft launch at the show and having a full launch within the next month after that. Um, so 2014, we think, is sort of our tipping point year, and we hope to have all of our stuff out there. So you know, six months from now, someone should be able to say Tip Solutions, and you'd say, oh, yeah, those are the guys that, that have the Call Snap or the Call Check app, or you know, maybe they even heard that, that we have a bunch of phones in India with a, with a hold button on them. I would like to take this time to thank you, Michael, for joining us for today's episode. For WDD, I'm Megan Zimbo, and I'll see you next time in the hot seat.